All of your vehicle's main controls are on the multifunction steering wheel. The left-hand branch holds the driving aid controls. Use this button to switch the speed limiter on or off. Press this switch to turn the cruise control or adaptive cruise control on and off. Use this button to set a following distance and this one to switch traffic sign detection. The switch marked O puts the limiter and cruise control functions on standby. Lastly, press this button at the top to increase your maximum or cruising speed or press it at the bottom to reduce it. On the right-hand branch of the steering wheel, you can adjust the instrument panel display, manage phone calls and switch to voice recognition. Use the View button to select the View mode for the open R screen on your instrument panel. Press this switch at the top or bottom to select the information that you wish to display. When your telephone is connected to your vehicle, press this button to pick up or end a phone call. Tap this button to switch on your OpenR-Link Multimedia Systems voice recognition. Press and hold it to switch off voice recognition on your phone. Use this button with the star to switch on your favorite feature. Press and hold it to configure your favorite feature. The configuration menu will appear on your central screen. You can now select a heating function, the air purifier cycle, park assist, or the massage feature. Once saved, your chosen feature will start whenever you press the favorite button. This button is used to change the multi-sense mode. Press and hold to go to the configuration for the current multi-sense mode on your OpenR-Link multimedia screen. The steering wheel is complemented by paddles that you can use to adjust the intensity of the regenerative braking. Regenerative braking recovers kinetic energy and transforms it into electrical energy, which is then stored in the battery. In practice, when you ease off on the accelerator pedal or depress the brake pedal, the wheels drive the electric motor, generating electricity to recharge the traction battery. Regenerative braking improves efficiency and driving range, while reducing wear to the brakes. Your vehicle has four levels of regenerative braking. Use the two paddles fitted behind the steering wheel to select the level. This allows you to adjust your driving comfort whenever you like. With the gear lever in position D, press the paddle on the left to increase the level of regenerative braking. Press the paddle on the right to reduce it. This light on the instrument panel indicates the current braking level. At level zero, there is no engine brake effect. Driving is smooth. The car maintains its speed when you ease off on the accelerator. This level provides ideal comfort for motorway driving. At level one, there is a slight engine brake effect. The car's speed drops slightly when you ease off on the accelerator. At level two, there is a medium engine brake effect. The car's speed drops when you ease off on the accelerator. 
At level 3, there is a noticeable engine brake effect. You can more or less drive the car with just one pedal. You no longer need to depress the brake pedal, except for coming to a halt or for emergency braking. This driving mode is especially useful in built-up areas where there is a lot of stopping and starting. Lastly, the E-shifter gear lever is fitted behind the steering wheel. It consists of a push button for positions R, Reverse, D, Drive, and N, Neutral, and a side button for position P, Park. Move the gear lever two notches up or down to engage the desired gear, then release the lever. It then resumes its position. The engaged position is shown on the instrument panel. You have to depress the brake pedal to switch from one position to another. If the brake pedal is not depressed, an audible signal sounds and the current position flashes on the instrument panel, accompanied by the message, depress the brake pedal. Position P is engaged automatically when the engine stops. When the driver unbuckles their seatbelt, or opens their door when the vehicle is stationary. To engage position P manually with the vehicle stationary and the engine running or the ignition on, press this button. To disengage position P, depress the brake pedal and move the gear lever up or down according to the position you want. If the brake pedal is not depressed, the message Depress the brake pedal appears on the instrument panel, accompanied by this indicator light. Lastly, you can operate the heating by pressing this key on the steering wheel. The function stops automatically after the control phase, which lasts about 30 minutes. To switch it off manually, press this button again.